Welcome to Real Channel Automotive, a place to help you understand the world of automotive mobility. Please subscribe our channel for more updates. The Citroën Ali is the latest concept car from the French car maker, highlighting the future of vehicle production with sustainable materials, electric power, and quirky styling. It's a pure electric SUV with a pickup load bed at the back and split opening doors with a focus on sustainability. It employs the ethos of the Amy quadricycle in a larger form factor and previews design and engineering themes that will filter down to mainstream Citroën models in the future. Citroën's radical Ali concept crossover aims to break the mold of heavy, expensive electric cars, but the French firm claims that the Ali isn't a direct precursor to a production model. However, it has provided a series of specific technical details for the show car and even an estimated price tag of 25,000 euros. The focus on weight loss means the Ali is projected to weigh just 2,200 pounds thanks to the use of lightweight recycled materials, simplified tech, and a relatively small 40 kWh battery. Some of the Ollie's exterior panels are interchangeable with each other, including the doors, wheel arch extensions and bumpers, helping to reduce manufacturing and repair costs. Certain non-structural elements of the body are made from honeycomb cardboard panels, which present a 50% weight saving over steel, while still being strong enough to support the weight of an adult. In addition, the Ollie has a unique 20-inch wheel design that combines a strong steel face with an aluminum inner rim to save a total of 13 pounds. The tires are made by Goodyear and Citroen claims they will last at least 50,000 miles. The cardboard roof of the Ollie might be a bit of a worry, but at the launch, Citroen underlined how durable this material is by demonstrating its own employees standing on it as well as anyone else willing to try. Part of the hood and the rear bed are also textured so you can stand on them. The trunk has a glass covering but can be opened to make the Ollie into a pickup, which will be handy if you're collecting DIY materials. The front windscreen looks a little odd, as it's at a sheer right angle to the ground, making the Ollie appear somewhat like a military Humvee. In fact, the whole design is externally reminiscent of the venerable US military vehicle, but reimagined as a colorful children's toy. The interior is similarly outspoken, with the prototype a garish orange. There are four seats rather than five, but they have plenty of space, although the design is more like padded beach furniture. The seat material is made from recovered thermoplastic polyurethane material, and overall half the vehicle is made from recycled substances. The entire vehicle is designed to be recycled after end of life too. Like the Amy, the built-in technology and infotainment are kept minimal. You provide your own mapping and music through your smartphone. This doesn't mean Apple CarPlay or Android Auto mirrored to screen in the car. It means your actual phone screen becomes the infotainment display, which is likely to be yet another way to save plenty of money. However, it could restrict how well the Ollie fits into connected vehicle infrastructure, such as being able to tell you when and where to charge on a long journey. The top speed is limited to 68 miles per hour as a result, and up to 249 miles of range could be possible. Citroen claims that charging the battery from 20% to 80% takes only 23 minutes. These figures are presumably derived from Stellantis STLA small platform, which would almost certainly underpin such a vehicle. Despite the relatively boxy dimensions, Citroen says the Ollie will return an efficiency figure of around 6.2 miles per kilowatt hour. For comparison, a Mini Electric will do around 4.2 miles per kilowatt hour and a Kia Niro EV will return roughly 5 miles per kilowatt hour. With the ability to power electrical devices using the car's vehicle-to-load capability, Citroen is pitching the Ali as a versatile machine for outdoor adventures, and it's equipped with roof rails, attachment points for accessories, and a pickup-style load bay. Like the Amy, customization for the Ali is limited to graphics packs, accent colors, and interior trims, rather than primary paint shades. The cabin is unlikely to resemble any showroom-ready models for the time being, but the lightweight, minimalist theme continues. The white paint itself is also made with less organic materials than standard car paint. Unfortunately, the car will not be available for purchase in the next few years. The vehicle on display was a concept that will not enter production until 2030, if at all. This may well be a factor of how well its announcement is received, as with the Amy. I really hope it does see the light of day though, because I can safely say I stand the Ollie. It's a stripped-down utility vehicle, similar to the original Willis Jeep, but designed for city living. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.